Hi everybody, Andrea Tarowski here. So let me walk you guys through and, so, and show you a sneak peek inside the Quality Assurance Written Test Prep Course, the 2023 version. So depending on when you're watching this video, it might look a little bit different and I'm going to show you guys inside the preview mode, but keep in mind, if you're writing the quality assurance exam, it depends on if you're a dental hygienist in what area, but if you are required to write your quality assurance exam, you do not need the study guide for that year. It's kind of like when a new dental hygiene textbook comes out. Let's say a new dental hygiene textbook comes out in 2023. You just purchased the one in 2021 and you feel you have to purchase the 2023 one. You really don't because there aren't a lot of changes throughout the years but there's also some people that like to have the updated version every single time. So if you have purchased any of my quality assurance study guides in the past, and you might've studied one from 2022 and you're concerned, you might need the 2023 one or the 2024 one, depending on the year, it is up to you, but not much really changes throughout the years. I just change what's inside the study guides, depending on what is in the blueprints that they give out to us. So let me just show you guys a sneak peek here. This is what the sales page looks like. So if you're at dentalel.com and you have clicked under the dental professionals category and you found the quality assurance written test prep, this is what it looks like. Feel free to go through it to make sure it is what you want. You will see topics on all of these. Um, sorry, you will see modules on all of these different topics because when you're writing the quality assurance exam, it's not like the board exam. You don't have to buy the Darby and Walsh textbook. You don't have to buy the Mosby's textbook. You don't have to buy the clinical dental hygiene textbook. It's not like the board exam, but the quality assurance exam is a little bit of this, a little bit of that dental hygiene related. So think sciences, think nutrition. Um, I can show you here, think infection control, think health and safety. These are the types of questions they're going to ask you. And, um, just some commonly asked questions are what is the success rate of people taking the course? How long is the study guy going to take me to study? All of those things. If you guys have any questions, of course, just let me know anytime. But I'm going to show you guys a sneak peek inside the course of what it looks like. So again, it might look a little bit different depending on when you're watching this video. So please keep that in mind. But this is what it looks like when you log into the course as soon as you do purchase it. You can see that it has been updated. So I do update these study guides every single year. Typically, if there's anything new to update, they let us know around September of that year. So let's say you're in 2024 now and you're looking at the 2023 study guide and saying to me, Andrea, where is your 2024 study guide? Well, it might not be available until September. So you are completely fine. If you want to get a head start and start studying for your 2024 exam, you can purchase the 2023 study guide and you'll be completely fine but just email me you guys if you have any questions so basically you will see all of the different modules here this is for any dental hygienist who is taking the quality assurance exam i get emails all the time of people asking me you know i live in ontario i live in london ontario i live in toronto I live in BC, you know, is this study guide good for me? Yes, it is for any dental hygienist who needs to take the quality assurance exam because not all dental hygienists need to take this exam. It's not mandatory in every single state. It's not mandatory in every single province, but if you have been audited and you are told you need to take the quality assurance exam or perhaps a portfolio, but you're going the exam route, then yes, this is good for you because it gives you a little bit of everything. So let me just show you guys if you guys click down through here you will see sciences as a module okay you will see microbiology you will see perio soft deposits nutrition these are all powerpoints so you just simply click on something i'm just going to click the nutrition one for you you would click nutrition it does take a second to update, so I'm just gonna wait for that one, and then the PowerPoint is going to come up. These are all PowerPoints for you here, but you will also see quizzes at the bottom, so you would just simply click a quiz to start the quiz. There you go. Oh, actually, sorry guys, it's not gonna let me because I'm in preview mode, but you get the idea. There are quizzes after most topics to really see and test your knowledge. So there's lots of PowerPoints. You will see mock exam quizzes. You will see a hypertension um, fact sheet just as an example. 
things you need to know, things you need to study for, for your exam. So as I said, this is a little sneak peek. And at the very end, you will see a module, or I'm sorry, you will see a mock exam practice. But as you guys can see, there's many, many modules here for you. I find some students take two weeks to, to study everything. They just simply read through what they didn't understand and then, and then others sign up six months beforehand because they want all of that extra time. So it's completely up to you click through, but then you will see some, some more mock exam practice for you. At the very end, there's a quiz. It's just the first one here. Same type of thing. It's not going to let me show you the quiz because I'm in preview mode, but you get the idea. And I did download that nutrition. Let me just click that for you to give you an idea of what a PowerPoint looks like inside the course. So it's basically, instead of you having to read the textbook, you will instead take this course and then follow through each module. So you don't have to worry about reading a textbook, purchasing a textbook. You can just read through these PowerPoints instead. It makes studying a lot easier. But as you guys can see here, this is what a nutrition PowerPoint looks like. It is down to the point. So you don't have to study pages and pages and, you know, more pages of all kinds of things. These things are just what you have to know for your quality assurance exam. So the PowerPoints are very easy to read, not too confusing. At least I like to think so, right? So you guys, I hope that helps. Let me know of any questions and I will see you in the next one. Good luck. I know you can pass your quality assurance exam.